Today I want to show you guys how to make appearances. Appearances are a really great way to organize your show file and be able to quickly uh, find, you know, groups, uh, palettes, all of that stuff. So, to get started, uh, I'm going to go to my preset tab. I'm just going to clear this out. We can kind of leave our groups there. And then we're going to go in here, go to pools, go to appearance. All right, you already see I have some appearances here that I've made. These ones come default. I've made these two, and I'm going to show you guys how to create a new one. So let's go to 16 here. I'm just going to long press, and it will automatically create one for me. And I'm going to go to edit. Edit appearance 16. So here, what I can do is I can assign a color, and then I can assign how bright that color is using the alpha channel. So maybe like if I really like that, but I want a brighter kind of thing. I don't know. Something like that. Then I can name this. I can name this X Force. And then if I just hit this X here, it will save it as apparent 16. Now I'm going to uh, create another one. Uh, similar situation. That's an interesting color. Say that there, and then make this VL2600. Great. So if you wanted to make an appearance with an image, kind of like this, you can see how you have these here. Um, I don't really know if someone would use these. I guess you kind of, maybe you would, I don't know. Um, but these are default images that are loaded in. But you can do that if you go to appearance. I don't actually have an image loaded. But you can uh, tap on the image tab instead and you can tap uh, none, I mean new. And then you can also, um, you know, pull from where you want. You can use some of these, I mean, if you, Wanted, like if you wanted, uh, if you were making an appearance for smoke, so you have one there, and now I have a smoke appearance. But you can load your own image there. Um, I believe it needs to be in the subfolder um, under the Grandma 3 folder. It's in shared and then images is what I believe it is. Don't quote me on that though. So, yeah, so that's how you make appearances. And now let's go back to my screen. I'm not going to assign these appearances, so I'm going to go edit option, go to appearance. I'm going to go to X-Force. Take a look at that. I now have my appearance. And if I had a group that was smoke, this one isn't, let's stick that there. And take a look, I have an image over that. But that isn't smoke, so stick that there, and then obviously. Oh, I did this backwards. That was. Why did I do that? I don't know. The X-Force are there, and then these are the VLs. Duh -duh. Um, so that's how you assign and create appearances. Obviously, you can see if you had a lot of groups, like if you had this whole screen groups because you're working on a big show or something, appearances can be really helpful to be able to quickly like locate what are your Sharpies, what are your washes, what are all that kind of stuff. Uh, really, really quick and easy way to identify that. And it just makes for a cleaner show file and it looks pretty too.